Hi, you guys. I'm showing you this picture because I've never made this before. There, uh, it's an uh, uh, alcoholic drink. It's a fishbowl punch. But it, look, isn't that cute? It's got the fish swimming around like in the ocean. And at the bottom, it's got like sand. This is what I'm going to try to attempt. So let's see how it goes, okay? Okay. Just a heads up. If uh, it doesn't turn out that way, I'm going to try. So the first thing we're going to do is, um, I guess we could rim our glass. We're going to rim it with, I'm going to rim it with the uh, lemon drop uh, sugar just to give it a little more facet uh, look. Also, this is a made, you can make it in a punch bowl. What you can do it and then make, set these aside individually. I'm only going to make one, but I'll give you the recipe if you want to do like um, the punch bowl one, okay? And I'm sorry, I feel like I'm a little dark. Oh, there, that. Oh, stay. Don't move. Okay. So, um, it's a blue tropical punch drink. And uh, this is if you're going to make for four, to, it'll make four to five cups. And it's uh, 10 ounces of vodka, 10 ounces of coconut rum, which is this. Now, I'm using the citron vodka. You can use regular, but this will add a little more citrusy flavor. The blue carousel. Also, sweet and sour mix right here. 12 ounces of that. Oops, 12 ounces of this. 6 ounces of that. You know, give or take. You don't have to be so specific. And uh, let's see. Then uh, we're going to do 20 ounces of pineapple juice. And also a lemon lime soda. 32 ounces. 32 ounces. And did I say 20 of the and also, if, if it's not as blue as you would want, you can add blue food coloring. So, there you go. And then, the stars of this drink, of course, are the Swedish fish. Those little fish that are going to look like they're swimming around. Also, you guys, um, you can, you're going to have, you can, we don't have to, but if you want wedges for the top, we're going to cut those. And they can be at the top. Add to the festivity of the drink. And, uh straws. As you can tell, there were like three or four straws bent out. I thought that was kind of cute. You could put umbrellas in them. Not for sure because I've never made it. And also for the sand for the bottom, they um, had uh, said to put nerds in the bottom because they look like, you know, the bottom of the ocean. But you cannot find uh, nerds anywhere. I mean, nowhere. So, you know what? I, I'm going to um, ad lib with uh, Tic Tacs. And uh, even though it does have straws in it, I would not advise them to drink this one because you could probably have a, them coming up through your straw. But it's the cuteness of it all. And getting started, we're going to rim. Well, I didn't even get my plate out of water. I don't know if you guys all remember how to rim, but get a, a plate of water. And I do it first so it can set up. And then we're just going to open this up. Ta -da. I like when I had my bar and I was behind my bar. I still have my bar, but I don't have it so where I can be like behind it. But this will work. And then dip it in. Oh, perfect. Look at you guys. Perfect. A little shake off. There you go. And it's all going to be ready to go. So, let's get that one out of the way. And we can make our mix up first. And then we're going to uh, line our bowl now. Get this out of the way. I like this drink because it looked really beachy beachy. So, I thought, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Okay? So, I'm just going to do uh, for one glass, right? For this one glass here, I'm going to do a shot of the citron vodka. And you guys can feel free to measure, give or take, at half ounce or whatever, you guys, you know. Uh, then about a half a shot of the blue, blue carousel. carousel. And maybe a little, oh, that's beautiful. That beautiful blue water. It's like the Caribbean, or as somebody say, the Caribbean. Don't know which is the right way to say it, you guys, but now this is also the same amount as the vodka. Oh, see, that'll lighten up the blue just ever so slightly. 
uh, a sweet and sour mix. For me, if you're doing the whole thing, remember it was 12 ounces, I'm just going to do just a, a slight little pour. I'm not a sweet and sour person, but you know me, I like my drinks a little, a little bit stronger. I'm going to see if I can get that lighting to, there we go. I don't know why that does that. Okay, so we got those drinks out of the way, and then we need the lemon lime soda and pineapple juice. Now, we'll do lemon lime. This is 32 ounces. This is a but. If you're doing the big one, 32 ounces. This one, I'm probably just, uh, probably two and a half ounces for just one glass. I'm eyeballing it. Your pineapple juice is the 20 ounces for the big punch bowl. That would be cool, too, if you had a glass punch bowl. You could put all the... Uh, sand at the bottom, the Tic Tacs, and then a bunch of ice, and then put all the Swedish fish all around the outside. And they'll think, wow, you spent a lot of time on this drink. And you'll be like, yes, I did. Okay, we did the coconut rum. I feel we're doing good. Okay, we got the soda. Do, 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 do. Okay, so we got it all. Now it says once you... Um, have this all done. Um, you, if you do this in a mason jar, it'd be great because you can put the top on and put it in the refrigerator until you're ready to serve it, and it'll be really, really cold. But I'm just going to set it aside for now because I do not have the wonders like Food Network. Like, oh, six hours later, here we go. Don't have that. Mm -mm. So, you guys, um, set these aside. These, we just picked up these straws. I thought they were wonderful colors. So, I'm not for sure what I'm going to put in mine. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. So, um, right now, we're going to put in our sand, which is our Tic Tacs. I've never seen this blue. Where are these blue anyway? Freshly mint. Freshly mint? Frosty mint. Been a long time. So now, well, this is the closest I can come to the nerds. Now, I know you can order nerds off of Amazon, because I saw them, but... They're the only, I would have to buy like a ton of things that was like fifty dollars worth. I only don't eat nerds, so I, I didn't do it that way. But I thought these are the closest things probably to nerds that wouldn't disintegrate. I love the color. I love that. Whoa, this is wintergreen. Hmm. I used to my favorite if I ever did Tic Tacs was the orange because it tastes like baby baby aspirin. Okay, you guys, that looks pretty good. Now, it says you can crush the ice. I'm going to use my little ball ones, and we'll see if I can get them out. Because I, I think that they'll work pretty well. I should have something, though. Put them in. Let me put them in this. See if they'll come out. You guys don't know my struggles with these round ones. But I felt they would work the best, so... Oh, oh yeah perfect just got to kind of let them melt a little bit but I should and I don't have my blender of course I was saying I'm going to have one but I don't so anyway these I think will work just gent I guess gently put put in your ice crushed ice blender dice however oh, how cute is that and then, see, you can still kind of see. I got one more. See if it'll work. Right, guys. Monkey, he's taking a nap. He, his, he was tired from his YouTube yesterday. but And then he's got school tomorrow. They love him at school. He loves school. And, uh... They have Puppy Academy. You can follow them on Instagram, too, to see any updates on Mookie at school. He uh, doesn't like other dogs. He likes humans more. So they're, he's working on that, you know. Uh, it's funny, but hopefully he'll get some play dates out of this and uh, have other dogs that he can go with and play with. Okay, you guys. That's enough of that mess. Let me kind of... Okay. I don't usually make these big fancy drinks, but you know, if I had a party, I would. I could totally see that in a punch bowl. That way, 
you got the drink done and it's cute and if you guys are going to have beach parties you should, should really try this and even with kids if you didn't want an alcoholic you guys certainly could use like blue kool-aid oh my gosh that would be really cute blue kool-aid a little seven up and uh did they need lemonade oh oh no that one's not my lemonade i got something else coming up with lemonade but that's not it Anyway, Trisha used to love these Swedish fish. I never really bought them. Because I, I, if I did, I would buy the um, gummy bears. So it just says to place them on the side gently because they might float when we put the liquid in. I don't know because I've never done that, but it's the fish of the sea. They're, they're huge. Huge. And I think you want to hook it. Let me have one diving down. They all can't come up. Put a nose down. Perfect. Okay. There it's, it's a fishbowl punch drink with just Swedish fish. So, okay. Here we go. Let's put the drink in. I wonder if we, I should probably cut. Let me cut a little fruit first. Put that on the side because that'll wait for it. A little pineapple. Forward that, and then all my fruit didn't fit in. Did you notice? Did not fit in there. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna cut this. It's gonna. So you don't need very many on in a glass. Cause I do have a. I might have to cut my orange. I'll just use two of the lime. Two of the lime. Two of the lemon. I always threaten I'm going to do a video and not talk. And a lot of people do that. I'm like, how do, you, how do you not talk? How do you not say anything, you know? Also, here's some old news, old business from my last video. Um, when I made those pizza, uh, pizza chips, the keto kind. Uh, you can use uh, warm-up marinara sauce, spaghetti sauce, and warm that up. And you can dip them in there afterwards. I totally forgot to tell you guys that I even had some but you know me I get to talking and then I forget and it's like okay now that is a really big orange so I think I'm going to cut that in half since although it would look good in a great big punch bowl look very very amazing you know I'm not uh, you know I'm not a stir but let's stir it I think that's a that is like the Bahamas blue for their ocean. So, if I, ever, I was talking to my daughter and I said, if I ever win the lotto, I'm going to buy a house in the Bahamas, a house in Maui, and a house in Malibu. But, got to buy the ticket first, right? Right. Okay, you guys, so I, I've got it all in there. Hopefully I didn't go too fast for you guys because sometimes I do babble on. But let's just uh, pour this and see how it looks. Oh my goodness. Oh look, it looks like the fish are swimming. I love that. Let's put, let's just put one of each in because I filled it too full. But that's okay because I will drink this drink. I will. Then we're going to do a couple straws. Now they did it really, really cute. I don't know. If I do this, I better get something that it's a little different. I, do, I would love that, though. Let's just do that. Same color. Should we do yellow? Let me see. Oh, yellow. Yeah, yellow. And we're going to have to cut it. Okay. I hear Mookie over there. He's like, got to go to the bathroom. He's like, speed it up over there, Mimi. So, we're going to cut this so they're not too big. Just cut them at the bottom. And we're going to... That was cute. They had them going every which way. And there is your fishbowl punch, you guys. Oh, cute, cute. So cute. <laughs> Ta-da! It kind of looks like it. It's blue. And, you know, if, if um, 
you do this for the kids and they got Kool-Aid, they're going to love the surprise of the fish afterwards, as will adults too. But let's try this, you guys. We worked really, really hard on it. Cheers. Mm. I know you're not supposed to gulp alcohol, but oh my gosh. That is really, really good, you guys. Mm. So, so good. I don't think there's anything more to put into You can taste the coconut. You got the blue from the blue curacao. You got that little citrusy thing going on. It's very, it's really refreshing. Mmm. It'd be cute by the pool, if you guys have a pool. Just really cute to serve up, so. Anyway, you guys, that's my fish bowl in a punch. And, and you can see the sand on the bottom yet. Yeah. And they, that's so cute. My fish now are almost at the bottom swimming around. But that's really cool. Hmm. Let me know if you guys do it with the um, blue Kool-Aid. I suppose you could do it with Gatorade, too. That'd be a lot, but... Hmm. Anyway, thanks for joining me, you guys. And now I have to come and do my video. Oh, shut down. Bye. I don't mean to put my big face in this, but I love you guys. You guys have a good day. Do something, something for yourself today. And every day, don't ever, ever, ever forget that, you guys. Bye. And that's why I'm here, though. Bye. No, that's why I'm here to tell you. To remind you to do that. And then that reminds me to do something for myself. I know. Okay. Bye already. Bye already, Delana. Bye.